Greetings fellow adventurers, Fred here and welcome to LARP Saga, and today we are unleashing the forces of nature with LARP Box 15 Druids. Now, when I first saw this theme, I had minimal interest in it, even though if I trace my ancestry back far enough, you might find a druid or two. Ooh, but uh, after talking about the theme with Zach Lee shortly after er, buying the Demon Ceiling box, he talked me into ooh, doing this box. So oh, this video is all his doing, so you can thank him for this. Uh, so, while I'm not expecting much from this box personally, I'm hoping to find and at least one or two of the items uh, fun to use. So without further preamble, let's dive into the Druid's Lark box. First off, we have the obligatory LARP box shirt, this one designed by Canadian LARPer and talented artist Margaret Gissing, who, who is no stranger to LARP box shirts, having done the designs for the Schools of Wizardry LARP box, among others. There's, alongside the vampire shirt, this has to be one of my favorite uh, shirt designs. Great work, Margaret. The next item we have is a pair of Californian White Sage smudge sticks that can be used magically in ritualistic alchemy to dispel negative energy, cleanse net spaces, repel evil spirits, or enhance rituals. Though practically, it can be used to repel biting insects like mosquitoes and fleas, but what's the difference between those and malevolent spirits? The third item in this box is a druidic neck pouch talisman, which is worn for protection, and a holder for spell components, or simply a container for mementos. You can use it to collect tokens from nature to enhance your druidic magic. The items included in this pouch include an acorn, a tiny quartz crystal, and a small vial, which are cool and all, but I wish the pouch was bigger, as in, in to hold on a belt and, and had more space for more items. Fourthly, we have a foam stone dagger from Epic Armory. Those of you who paid attention to LARP box in the pre-Kickstarter days, these might recognize this as part of one of those sample boxes that was sent out to various YouTubers like Cheyenne Rain over at LARP House and Momo O'Brien, two of the most prominent LARP YouTubers and inspirations to yours truly. 
Though I was quite surprised to see this item in this particular box, though it ain't unwelcome. Um, I more pictured something more nature-oriented, like something with vines and flowers. Or I am, am I thinking of the Fae? And finally, we come to the crown jewel of this LARP box, the Druid Tree Spirit Mask. Made in the form of a Spriggan, or Wild Tree Spirit, this mask was made to be worn during rituals or spellcasting to better attune the wearer to the forces of nature. Overall, I have to say I am impressed with this box. I can actually find some uses for the gear presented in the latest entry to the LARP box family. And like I said, I wasn't expecting much going in, but I came out impressed that there are things I can use in this box. And I'm sure or many other people can find this box useful too, especially those who do druid characters. So those are my thoughts on LARP Box 15 Druids. Let me know what you thought of this box in the comments down below. And before I let you go, I want to make an announcement that I'm going to be going to PortCon downstate. It's a nerd convention in Portland, Maine. And I'm bringing you guys along with me because I'm bringing my video camera uh, to document and cover the, the convention and uh, buy up as much LARP gear as I can to review it for you guys. He's, uh, so stay tuned for or that trilogy, that series of videos coming up, up soon. In the meantime, thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it, and if you're new around here, be sure to hit uh, uh, subscribe, Eve, and ring the bell to enable notifications. And be sure to follow me on social media and ch consider checking out my support pages. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you. on the trail of adventure.